I use the stipple brushes, of course. I use the color tool all the time. I go by all kinds of brushes. I'll put little squares in the hair. I do all kinds of crap. I cut foil in the shapes and I put designs in. Don't let anything limit your creativity. What I'm telling you is that blazing is heaven sent. It is the only product that lifts up the seven levels and deposits on in one step. Are you guys excited about this? Because I'm on fire here. So, I mean, if I wanted to take that lady that was here, if I wanted to take her white, I could. I could take her almost white with blazing. These, huh? As long as I go through that, I'm okay. As long as I go above that. I'm telling you, listen, we went to the office to see if they could print off before and afters. You guys, I, listen, I don't lie. I'm telling you, you wouldn't believe what I walked into yesterday. I go, oh my God, you know what I mean? Corrected everything. Well, we went deeper with it. We used that orangey and the pecans. We used it as underlying toner, and I filled the hair as I colored it, and I'll tell you about that too. I do not, in the salon, and I'm, I'm gonna boast, but I'm gonna tell you, I do not redo anything. Now they go, I don't believe that. I do not redo anything, and I'm not that good. I follow the rules, and it takes me there. Is that okay if I say that? Can we have the next model, please? What are they doing on, on, on holiday here? <laughs> and I told them, when I asked them, I said, do not let me look for you. They're having a cocktail. Okay. Give them a break. Huh? <laughs> They're having a coffee break. Cocktail. 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 That's okay. It's okay. We're waiting on you. It's been 30 minutes. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm going to make you stand up now. Okay? Yes. And you are Reed. Reed. Do you guys like Reed's hair? Beautiful. Now, look, I'm going to tell you honestly as she falls off the stage. Listen, we walked in with Reed. I loved, and she's the only one, I walked in and loved her hair. I said, wow, I love your hair. Well, of course, the, the, uh, the stylist did her hair beautifully, right? So I walk in. She's got a little bit of retouch. And what am I going to do? You know what I mean? So I'm going to do some painting. I did. And I put triangle panels in first. And I used a product that's called Hypnotic. Now watch this. Are you ready? I told you guys about True Integrity just briefly. That's what we put on the last model. Now this product is a whole permanent color line. They have 60-some tubes of color. They have toning formulas that I absolutely love. The reds are drop-dead gorgeous. The ones I used on the last lady there were the cherry chocolates, the MGs. Uh, this is the most popular in the line because it's enough red to piss somebody off, but not too much that it looks on. You know what I mean? It's just, you know what I mean, right? You guys know what I mean, right? We can, we can talk candy, okay? So, uh, very pretty, very shiny. Someone who doesn't want to commit to red, but it's got that richness. One of our favorites in the line. So anyhow, we mix and match and play. We have intensifiers, which I use the yellow, red, red, violet, and graphite. I use these all day long. Some people, when they see yellow, they go, what are you going to do with that? Well, yellow will brighten a copper. Sometimes I take the CCs, which are copper coppers, and I add a little yellow to it. And when I do, I show the client I'm doing it. Because I put a little dab in there to brighten the copper up. Sometimes, have you ever done a color and then, it looked, like say an auburn, and it looked good when she left. And then she comes back and the hairdresser touches the base up again. She loves the auburn, right? And then when you rinse it out and blow dry it, it was a little dull on the ends. And then she comes back again and you do the retouch again, you pull it through again and then it lasts five minutes. And it's even browner. What's going on there? Another rule. Has it ever happened to you guys? I guess just me. Okay, good. Y'all are perfect. Okay, so what happens is, ready? A rule to live by. Porosity loves brown. You ever had your red go brown on you? When you pull it through? Because it was good when she came in and just needed a little what? See, if the hair is all nice and shiny, and the color looks pretty good. What's the first color to fade in hair? Red. Red. So when I pull through, I tell the client if she's got auburn hair, I say, today, read your love. Well, today you just need a touch up, right? 
and I'm going to mix up a colored gloss for your ends. So what do I do? Well, I'll take that C, that C color, right, which is, which is our auburns, and when I pull it through the ends, I don't waste color. I'll take that retouch color, and then I'll add a little, maybe I'll add red to it, and a little bit of yellow to it, if it's a lighter shade. And then, what I'm going to tell you about this is, we use 10, 20, 30, 40 volume, what you're used to, and we have what's called the Demi developer. So any one of your colors that are permanent, right, all you got to do is mix the formula with Debbie Developer. It neutralizes 75% of the ammonia and becomes a deposit-only color, still using the same amount of tubes. Do I, need, do I need 10 or 20 volume? <laughs> no. I'll pour Demi in there, add some red to it, and, and maybe I don't need it all over. I'll take my color tool and refresh through it real quick. And again, instead of the lady next to me, the style is doing like this with her ends, like this. You ever seen this? And then goes and smokes a cigarette, watch process, and I... <laughs> What I do, it takes me about 60 seconds, I mix up a color gloss, and I'll take my color tool, right? My color tool, and I'll... This is designed to pick that hair up and put perfect color placement. The, the bristles are out in the center, and you go, jink, jink, jink. And why would I do that? I'm just refreshing her color, adding hues of refresh through her hair. Is it better? She thinks it's better. She feels it better. Do you? You understand, right? To mix up a color gloss for her. So what I'm telling you is, this system is so easy to use. We cover gray with 10 volume. We don't use 20. Well, they say it's so 20. I know what they told you. We use 10 with this system. We get unbelievable. I mean, gray coverage with this. We have an ingredient called Conceal. And what you do is it's an ounce of color to an ounce and a half of developer. But if you're going over gray hair, 25% or more, we want you to put a quarter of conceal in there and three quarter of what you want, even the reds. On the, all that gray, it's okay. Just add your conceal to the formula. Sound good? It's really fun, I'm telling you. And there's that avocado oil in there, acacia berry, all that natural stuff in there. And it's one of the lowest ammonia contents in the industry. Now, the reason I'm telling you about this is if I took, y'all let me talk about color, right? You feeling good? Okay. If I take that color we just talked about, let's say, what did we say? Uh, the C, right? Okay. Let's say we took this, this darker color, right? And I put it on her hair. What would happen? This dark. What would happen? What does porosity love? Brown. What if I put a level three on her? See what I mean? What would happen? You get it, right? It's going to mud out, flat, awful. So we have to put what in it? A filler, right? What Scruples has done is they've taken the color, already put the filler in there for you. So this is mixed one to one and a half ounces. This is mixed with 10 volume or Demi. The filler is already in there. So what I'm telling you is, I took her hair yesterday and didn't give a darn about her light hair. I put some highlights in, but she had some of this. And this dark hair right here is this dark right there. I put it on, go have your coffee. You don't have to worry. If she came in and said, David, I'm gonna go back to my natural color. If this looks like it, Put it all over her head, forget it, it's done. So if you're highlighting hair and you're going to put pieces in, if you didn't have this, what would you do? Well, I'm going to put a warm brown on there and hope it comes out okay. <laughs> or, or, you've got to put filler in there. What if you put too much filler, red, gold, then it's going to show? What if you don't put enough? Then it's going to be green or ashed out. They've done it for you where you don't have to think about it. All you've got to do is put it on the head. The fillers are already built in. Does that sound good to you guys? So all I did, remember I told you I'm not that good. I just follow the rules. I went in here, put two triangle panels with the small side down, the triangle down. 
so it pierces, gets thinner at the edges, at, at, at the bottom. I put two triangles in, we put some highlights in, and I painted a little bit of gold through, look here, look here, and in here, look here. I put a little bit of dark through there. Does that look good? Does it feel good? Yes? Okay. Remember I told you, remember I told you about free stuff today? Free stuff? What if I told you that you could get this free today? I'll take a minute. Okay, let's get back to haircutting. I'll tell you in a minute, okay? So, let's talk about haircutting first. Yep, yeah? you want to learn some haircuts today? Yes? Okay, all right. Now, look, I'm going to move quick. I'm going to do a lot of hair, okay? So, uh, this is real quick. Uh, top of the head, I just want you to remember this. Top of the head, center, tip of the ear. Top of the head, center of the ear. That's what I'm going to be using a lot of today because this is the highest point and highest point of the side of the head. Highest point of the back of the head is the occipital. Fact. You don't believe me? I'm sorry. It's the way it is, okay? And the human eye, the human eye is a, the human eye, the human eye is attracted to light first. That's right. Whether you like it or not, that's fact. So if I wear white shoes, I wear a size 13 to 14. If I wear white shoes, I can literally ski, okay? Okay? So I don't wear white shoes, all right? Because it expands. If I have someone that's five foot tall and I want to bring them up, if they have, most of y'all don't know who Mimi Eisenhower was, but like this here, right? And she comes in, she's four foot eleven, and she has bangs like this, right? What happens when I do this with her, do you get this? And I show some of her forehead, and what do I do? I'm putting light in, and I'm turning it. So what does that give me? Look, look, you got to know these. Look, what does it give me? I'm a what? Angle, and they create softness and also the eyes are kind of light first and I lift her up and she goes on there with still I love your hair <laughs> and all I put in was a simple accessory you see the main shape of the hair there's only seven the rest is all your artistry your accessories that you add okay sound good okay let's cut some hair tilt down is he on some kind of drug or something no I don't know okay all right, first thing I'm going to do, we're going to cut some, ooh, I can't use that much privilege. I could use it, right? No, she didn't, she didn't want a lot off, okay, guys? Okay? Doesn't want a lot off. Do you prefer to cut the hair dry or what? Um, it depends on if we take, no, I'm not going to say that. Anyhow, uh, either way, either way, either way. If it's a straight line, it's a straight line. Who said that? Very good question. I cut about 65% dry in the salon. If they come in and get a new style, I'll cut it dry and I'll put the color in. Does that make sense? And I'll put my pieces on my design, okay? So watch it, great question. Yeah, but if the hair is dry, don't you think by putting the color on afterwards, it would swell the, the cuticle to be open at the ends and then you're, you're leaving it to be... If we cut it before? Yes. No, you're cutting that off, it doesn't matter before or after, because some people come in and they don't want a haircut, they just want their hair color. But it doesn't matter. If you want to cut wet, it's, it's absolutely fine. But what do a lot of hairdressers do? They'll cut wet first, then they blow dry it, and then they spend 35, 40 minutes cutting it again. Because some, and this is some, and I, I was one of them, I'm scared to cut it so short. So I, I cut it a little bit, and I blow dry it, of course it looks like hell, and then I gotta do it again. Okay? You get it? But what I'm gonna show you is how to get from point A to point B now. Is that okay? Oh. oh, I love you. Who said that? I'm going to bury your child right now. I, I've already ordered a, a uterus from Russia. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you for saying that. It doesn't. Dry don't lie. If you cut that dry, it's there. Okay, so now look. Now i got to move along quick, and I want to give it all to you today, okay? So I cut from ear to ear, right? If you get ear to ear even... Without going this way or that way, because we don't cut past the center of the ear, the odds of you coming out even go up a thousand percent. If you cut all the way this way and all the way this way, I'll bet you a hundred dollars to a dollar you'll be wrong. There's too much room for error. So remember I told you I don't redo anything? I don't redo anything. So do, do we like this blunt line on her? If you don't, what can we do? We can cut some angles in it, or not, right? So if I cut little angles in it, it just adds a little softness, right? I don't know. What do you want? To, I don't know. I haven't cut the front yet. 
and we haven't really started the haircut yet. What do you mean you haven't started the haircut yet? All I am is taking link, uh, is taking link off. That's not part of the haircut. Does that make sense? Yes? Okay. I'm going to turn it this way. Now I'm going to show you. Do you all like to see tricks? Yeah? Yes or no? Okay, good. So this is what most hairdressers do. Watch this. She's looking straight. Watch this. You watching? She's looking straight. And I'm going to do this. What am I doing? Angles create what? Softness. What if she doesn't have much hair? And I'm going to tell her, this is what I'm doing. Instead of cutting there, just turn the head this way. Put the hair down and continue your haircut. Make sure that the, the head is straight and you'll have it perfect every time. Instead of when you blow dry, you'll see those pieces come out and they'll go, why can't they come in here straight? They always have to go like, okay, all right. I know. This way, make sure it's just right. Are you having a good time up here? Yeah, you are? Okay. You have it? I have me. Okay. So we're gonna hold this here. Now, I'm not cutting my chair off. Look, listen, a lot of models today, they don't want to cut my chair off, all right? So there we go. And look, if it's ever uneven and you see it, just do like this when they're looking in the mirror and it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they go, this side's longer. Don't you hate when they do that, right? Okay. All right, so now we're ready to start the haircut. Now, look, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this quick for you guys. And this is a lot of what's out there right now. I want you to know this is a lot of what's out there right now. So I'm going to take a little piece here so I don't mess up. I'm going to take a little piece here and I'm going to cut it. And then I'm going to go to this side. I'm going to get another piece and cut it. Now, why would I do that? So it's even and I don't screw up. Okay? You see that? And I, I comb it into position and I see it even. Okay? And now I'm ready to start. Now, I want you to watch how fast that I move through here. I'm going to turn this way. Top of the head center. And there's my guy. So you'll never have to worry again, are you even or not? And I'm heading to a place I call the center of the ear, right? The very center. I'm going to hit this with little triangles, and I'm heading to the center. All the way to the center. And I don't go past. I'm going to turn the head this way. Same thing. Y'all like stuff like this? Yes? Okay. One person. Okay, good. I'm going to go this way. <laughs> I'm playing. Okay, here we go. And I'm looking at where I'm heading to, okay? Top of the head, center of the ear. Don't go past ever, okay? Most of the time, we never cut past the center. Pin up like this, perfect. And I'm going to continue going all the way to the center. You know, some of you guys, uh, I, know I, I know I'll recognize some of you guys later, but I, I, I honestly feel like I'm at home, really, with this distributor that takes care of its people. I love that, you know what I mean? You won't have to worry about them, guys. They take care of their people. Feel good? You feel good? So, right? Step one. Okay. Now sit down. So how fast do you want me to do this, guys? Like real fast? Okay. Now she has almost one length here. Do you like your hair? Like heavy? Do you like it to feel heavy? No? You like it thinner? Good, good for you. Huh. Good. How's this for thin? Do you like this? Let me just carve this one. Yeah. <laughs> it's thin now. Okay, hold on. Look straight ahead. Look straight ahead. Okay, look, I do this a lot. I'll take the hairline out. Yeah, if you ever want to really make somebody mad, okay, really scare them, grab some hair from the off the eye. Take your clippers. If you do like this and drop the hair down in front of them, oh my, you come out of the chair. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Don't y'all have the one client that you absolutely can't stand? And no matter what you do, I flat ironed her ear one time. She still comes back. You know? She still back. Okay, look straight ahead. Look straight ahead. Now look, she's on the tall side, okay? She's on the tall side. Look straight ahead there. Straight ahead. Okay, watch this. I'm going to go to the top of the head. And look, you see this everywhere. I'm putting deep cuts through this to make it shattered. If you have somebody with thin hair, I do this all the time. Leave it out. Leave it out. Strength. Look, this here, another rule. The round is where all your movement comes from, okay? So I'm going to take the other side. The round is where all the movement. So we'll zigzag around here. We're going to, all we are, look, is taking it up to the top of the head. Look really straight. I can't see you. I can't see you. Okay. There's, there's your guy. 
Now remember, we're on cutting right now. There's no hair underneath here. And it can get thin. Leave you that veil of salvation. Okay? <laughs> you don't want to really, this is thin. Look how thin it is. Look how thin, you know? Right? I know, I know. So, uh, can I take it so I can get rid of some hair? Are you okay with that? Sure, okay. Not too much, okay. So now watch, because we cut it up at the top. I'm going to take this hair. You see my guy? Top of the head? Yes? And we're going to take this off. Not that much. No. I'm kidding. Yeah. It'll grow in three years. <laughs> you ever had that? Oh, my God. I don't like it. You'll like it in three years. Promise. <laughs> now, in this case, we do not cut past the round. You don't cut past the round. I should have combed your hair out, shouldn't I? I have no idea what my guy is. I'm just cutting. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> now, I'm going to bring this back. Watch this. I'm going to bring this back to the corner of the head. This, you have to remember this. I'm going to show you something that if you've never seen this before or heard this before, you're going to get a lot out of this. So I'm bringing this back to the corner of the head. Now, I want you to think about this. Let me hit that a little bit. I'll make it some more out there. I want you to think about this real quick. And we don't have all day for this, but I want you to remember this. If you measure the top of the head, center of the ear, if you measure from the center, top of the ear, where the head sticks out the most, and measure all the way to the center, it's six inches, and it's six inches on the other side, the human head measures one foot from ear to ear. What? How did you figure that? I measured the head. It's 12 inches, give or take. So watch. Look, watch. So six and six makes it three, 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 three. So the corner of the head is three inches. Watch this. Now, Scruples has a program. Look, they have all kind of teaching programs. And I heard, and y'all alluded to some of that here, that y'all weren't being taken care of by somebody else, or you'll be taken care of now. You get involved with Scruples, you're taken care of. How many integrity salons are in here? How many integrities in here? These are the salons that commit their scruples and they're taken care of. They get for every dollar they spend, they get points. The best, the best program in the industry, find my book that I had up here, somebody took it, but I'm gonna show you for as far as um, all kind of stuff. They get all kind of stuff free. And how many like free? We like free. I never pay, pay for my back bar, I never pay for foils, I never pay for capes, I never pay for any of that stuff. They pay for me. They pay for me. And they pay for them. You know what I mean? You use your points, you get stuff. Where am I at right now? What is this called? The, the what of the head? The round? And because some people may not know that. Don't laugh now. So I'm at center of the ear, and I pull back to that corner on both sides. Now what happens here is I want to show you right here. Look here. Look here. You see this center of the ear and this corner of nothing? You see here? How many of us haven't done this and got it too thin here? When I pull back, does this make sense? When I pull back to the corner and you let go, it fills in that voided triangle and never again will your haircut be thin there because you filled it in because you understand. You got it? So I took this whole area, center ear, let me be very clear with this so you guys see what I'm talking about. The center of the ear. How many people, I've said this for years, how many people have been cutting around a man or woman's ear and cut too far and you've got a Star Trek cut up like that? How many? <laughs> you know, okay? And when you do it, you know, you go, oh my God, right? But why, why did that happen? You went against a rule and that's never cut past the center. So if you're cutting around a man or woman's ear, what do we do? We cut to the top and then we start going down and you'll never do it again. David R. All the rules that clear? Yes, they are. And I'm going to give you about 12 of them so you can honestly look at any picture and raise the look. Does that make sense? Are y'all feeling good today, huh? You feeling good? Okay. Three people. Okay. So look, I cut to the center, the center, back to the corner, and I cut the round. That's step three. So look at what we did. I'm going to move you over a little bit. What we did was we got a guy and cut to the center of the ear. We lifted it all back to the top of the head, cut this side, that side, and let it push, because short push is long. 
And now the last step I'm going to do, very popular haircut for the looks out today, I'm telling you, I'm going to take this hair and I'm going to pull it straight out and cut from the end of the round this way. And that's it. Straight out from the end of the round. Here, straight out, and I'm going to tilt. David, why are you tilting? To keep the length and the weight. That's it. Sound good? Okay. So straight out. Now, if you look at this, when I take this section, I'm pulling straight out, but you notice the top is dragging down? I'm not cutting that. I'm cutting at the end of the round. All right? So I take that section, pull straight out and tilt. Where I'm cutting is straight out. And I'm pivoting around the head. And when you get to the corner, or the center of the ear, when you get close to the corner, when you get to the corner, you're going to pull back this hair to the corner of the nape. Does everybody got this? Yeah. Pull back and tilt in the corner of the human head. Same thing. And done. Drop it. Short pushes to the back of the ear. David, you did that up here. Yes, I did. You don't want a hole. You'll never get a hole again. So we're going to go straight out. Straight out and tilt. Straight out and tilt. Straight out and tilt. Looks easy, doesn't it? Does it look easy? Yeah. It is easy. You know who makes it difficult? Hairdressers. Yeah. Myself. We make it difficult. Colors what? One to what? One to ten. With underlying comes along the way. That's it. So let's say we want to leave the cut for a minute. And we want to texturize a little bit. Is there rules for cutting? You uh, better believe it. Don't go in farther than halfway unless you want to thin it out. See how simple that is? What do you mean by that? I mean, if you're doing the cucarachas up here like this here, right? And she comes back and she says, I love my haircut. I go, you did? I have no idea what I did. Hey, you ever do it again? They said they loved it and then you're sitting there cutting. No, no, you had this, this was, no, this was like, no, you didn't have that like that. This was like, it. no, and, and the, some people say, I went to this girl or guy a few times, and they, they had it beautiful, and they never could do it the same way they did it the one time. Because they don't have a system. Scruples has systems we call for success. Now watch this. I'm going to do this really quick. I'm going to zigzag and take it up to the top again. Well, now, David, that's how you cut it. Texture follows the cut. I'm going to take it up to the top of the head, short pushes off. Watch how quick we do this, and I'm going to weave through it. Oh, I had the wrong shear. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Isn't that awful? You ever done that? Oh, my God. Oh, God. And the feeling that comes over you, right? <laughs> that cold, that cold feeling of, you know, I'm going to die right now, you know? <laughs> you ever done that? I'm telling you. Okay, in the round of the head, look here, and now we cut it. You guys love this kind of stuff, do you? Are you into it? Okay. We're going to pick it up on the round, and again, I'm going to weave it because I don't want to take a full hit. Are Let's you do the other. To take you... off some of the bulk out of her hair? Yeah, yeah making it yeah. softer. Yes, we'll, we'll do what now? To create movement, right? We'll create movement. We're in the round. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Watch this now. Now, if you want to take a full hit, go ahead. Now, what do you think when you go back to the salon, right? You're going to do that, maybe, right? And they'll think, what the heck is going on, right? They'll go, well, that's me, right? That's me. Now, if somebody had curly hair and you did that with the weaving in, would that create more volume onto the hair, or would it create more taking It hair? would probably create more volume because short hair pushes long, okay? Short, as a rule, short hair pushes long. So I'd probably stay out more with her and leave more of the weight of the curl. So the back here, good question. So the back here, what did you do? You pulled straight out, right? right. And a lot of people have more hair back here. So what if I just pulled it out like that and just hit those edges? What if I took this whole corner and pulled it back in that corner and kind of hit those edges? Could I do that? Yeah. Could I do that? Could I pull it back to the corner? You could she do says you better, you're doing it, right? 